minute videos. Yeah, that's. I don't want to do that. All right, so. And you have no idea what you were talking about. I was right. well, that's basically it. Okay, let's go to open recent files. Morse code. Huh? What are you saying? I'm gonna copy this. No. <laughs> that's not what I said. That's not very nice. That's not what I said, Mr. Stolter. Are you sure that's not what you said? Because that does not sound very nice. <laughs> See that? He's apologizing. So that's what you did say. Wow, Blake. <laughs> All right, so then we'll go. Take birth in the beard. Forgive me. All right, so right here we have what the heck is that? it's two lists that I've entered in between elements. I've hit return enter so that they're on multiple lines. Which you can, ones are you going to go over? See, I'm starting with Morse code. Okay, so you're not going to go over the first one. The sum of digits in a string. Do you want? I'll just go through them all. Hey, you guys will get free credit. Yes, this is this is all based on an index. On yeah, indexes. Yeah, so write the enter user equals input please enter a number for ch in user. I need to do a total oops. Why a number? <laughs> you have been blessed. Because I want a program that enters this. I want the sum of all the digits in a number. Oh, you're doing the first one. Yeah. Well, it's defined as prop two. It is prop two. The sum of digits in a string, number two. Problem That's number two. Eight. Total is zero for ch in user. Total plus equal int ch. Print total. Yeah. It's under student student resources probably if I had to guess. All right, so, so you can copy it. please enter a number one, two, three, four. What's the sum? What's that answer? That's mean. It's ten. All right, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Fill my cup. Hold up. Wait a minute. Does this even have a song? Bradley's <laughs> really triggered right now. <laughs> Do you guys understand how I got this? No, but I will in a sec. Okay. Maddie, do you understand? Wait, is that, wait, man, is that the thing number one? Or this is the answer to question number two, sum of digits in a string. Wait, what's I and T stand for again? Integer. So, okay, the way rhyme is so much more complicated. I don't understand. Yeah, because your brother just, didn't work. he, he, he well then you don't have it. Wait. I see what was Does he hard code at all? I don't know, but his brother didn't take my class. He his first freshman year, he had they had a guy who came in and was like, This is what I want you to do, Google it. Yeah, that that's what he said. So it's so at certain things it's really cool because you I can figure out how to do this on my own. But then by doing that you could also potentially miss you complicate things because you don't know the simple way to do it like this. No, he was on just a one year I don't know, but then the year after they hired me. So it's probably easy to kick them out. You were on. I think it was He was only supposed to teach for one year. He worked at Fermi Lab. That's pretty dope. Yeah, he had like a uh you have a pet bison? No, he had a uh I think a doctor degree in like theoretical physics or something like that. Why the heck was he I don't know, because he knew Python, I guess? He obviously didn't know Python, he's making people Google it. No, I didn't know Python. Python. Don't All right, explain okay. this, can you explain this line by line? Yes, yeah. this line. This creates the function. What? I get that. This asks the user to enter in a number, and it is a string. It is not an integer or a float. It comes out as just a string. 
total is zero because I want to know the total of all the numbers. So you have to have a running total that starts at zero. Then for ch in user, this is a for loop that runs through the I don't understand for loops. like you with strings or for loops in general. Because we learned for loops like a month and a half ago. Like four x in range. Yeah, I don't get for loops. So for for x in user, what this does is it runs through the string. Now, what does that mean? Um, I'll explain. It runs through the string and it spans it out. More or less. Um, what I then did is I took the integer version of ch, because they're typing in a number, and I added that to the total, a running total, and then I printed the total, and I get 10. So this is how you do problem one. Isn't the integer version of ch just like if you type in 1, 2, 3, they will be 123? And then you add it to 0, which is the total? No, because if you look here, please enter a number, right? I'm going to enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer should be 15. Well, because because I don't know if you guys remember, but back when we learned input, the this is now waiting for me to hit enter. Then it. What number did I type in? Oh, it will loop. It's looping. Yes, it's going through each individual character in that string. So one, two, three, four, five. And then it's waiting at this line input for me to hit enter. It's waiting for me to hit enter. So how it's looping it? How many times is it looping it? It's however many characters are in the string. Okay. So right now it's going to loop five times because one because I have one two three four five numbers in there. If I do, I'm gonna if I type in Juliet. J U L I E T zero. It's still zero because I commented this out. Because if you don't comment this out and you run it with Juliet, it's getting an error. I can't integerize. I can't make a letter a number. I get it. Do you understand for loops with use of a string? Better than I did before. Okay, I'll take it. Um, it's just going to loop it the amount of time. It's going to loop it the number of times, however many characters. characters are in that string. And you can also make CH, which stands for character, in the string. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing here. And I'm integerizing. That's even a word. But you could replace CH with anything. This could be X and X. You to never use X. Correct. I did. And he Bradley, how off? Don't bring that up ever again. <laughs> you could put, hey, how me. are, hey, hey how hey. are you? <laughs> I have a question about what program is. How do you do it so like every time like, you put it in the corner, Instead of having it just go to the corner, it spreads out all the way. It, you drag it to the corner, and the only reason it's working now is because I have this one down here. But you go, see how it takes up just the corner? Yeah. And oh, then okay. I just stretch I it. Well, because it matches. So this could be whatever. I do CH because it stands for a character in a string. Got it. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is how you do problem number two. One, sort of. Find problem four. It's not. I already did. You guys don't have to type this up at all. It's in this. It's in the module. It's in the OneDrive. Okay, so now we're going to have to use a for loop, and I'm just going to show you guys something real quick. So for 
alum in Morse. So for element in the Morse code, actually, no, that's not what I want. For index in range length of Morse. Do you guys know what, do you guys see what this is doing? Yeah. Print. Yeah, when I did this last night, I was trying to do like x dot replace and stuff. Nope, you don't need to do any of that. All right, so you guys see what this is doing, right? Yeah. For index in range length of Morse, what is yeah. that doing? That's it's finding right. the index of each number and then it's going to index. Yeah, so it's running through the index of zero to however long this is. So 26, 36, 37, 38, 39. So about 40 index. So from zero to 39 is the index, is uh, the indexes, indices, indexes of everything in here. We start at zero and we're printing the very first, we're printing Morse zero, which is uh, actually just a space. So it's printing this. Nope, indexes always start at zero. It starts at wherever I want it to. If I have four X in range nine, print X, where does this start? It starts at zero and goes to eight. That's nine numbers though. So all this is doing right now is it's just printing more stuff. It's just going through this list and printing everything in it. That's all I've written. That's all this code does. Ooh. Actually, you do need to use you need to use the find, but not the replace. So, so, you, that, I guess. so you need to use <laughs> index of that. So you could do it with replace, right? It would just take a very long. No, you couldn't. You can't use the replace because that's with strings, not lists. Well, you don't need to use the list. Yeah, you do. All right, so you guys understand Morse index. What I'm going to do now is we're going to go user. Okay, I'll get back to it. Well, you don't need to copy any of this. I know I'm trying to get that copy. This? No, the copy for the page. This. Yes. Okay, this is in the OneDrive student resources. That's what I was doing. Okay. Alright, so Morse code. <clears throat> then converts that string to a Morse code. So what we're gonna do for CH in user. All right, again, we need to go through. And notice that these are all uppercase. So what we're going to have to do is we need to uppercase all of our letters. So we're gonna go ch upper equals ch dot upper. Tracking with me? Yeah. Now I have a variable that always is the uppercase version of ch. So what I need to do now, and in the book, I'm gonna, where is it? Uh, which page is it on? The repetition operator. It is in. It's not is digit. Oh, because I need to look in the list part. It's in the not the strings. My bad. Remove, nope, sort, nope, uh, index. All right, here we go. So, <clears throat> put that there. So what we need to do is we need to find the index of ch upper. So let's say they type in hello. We need to find where h is in here. And that's, let's say that's 20. I don't even know. We know that. If H is the index 20 in the alphabet list, 
we know that the Morse code version of H is the 20th index 22. in here. Is it 22? Okay, so 22, we'll say it's this one. Actually, H is four dots in a row. Oh, it wasn't that far off. So this is H. This is this is index 22, and this is index 22. We know that the indexes match. So in whatever index H is, its corresponding Morse code letter is the same index, just in a different list. So what we need to do is we need to use index. Why does space have its own index? What? Because it does. Um, Morse dot. Oh no, I need alpha. Alpha. Alpha dot index of H of CH underscore upper. Now we need to give this a variable, so we're just going to name this location, I guess, equals. Are you guys tracking with me how this works? This is going to give us a number. So just for demonstration purposes, we're going to go print Morse location. Don't, do that. In the program, don't, do that. don't don't add that. This is just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to. So we're going to get. <clears throat> please enter your sentence. I'm just going to put an H. Now we have four dots. So this is how you find the location in the Morse code of your letter. So I'm going to get rid of that. <clears throat> now I'm going to go back up here. We need a new user. And this is going to be an empty string. Why do I have that? Um, There's actually a couple ways you could do this. You could append it to a list and then join the list. Or you could start with a string like this. What I'm going to do, I'll show you guys both how to, I'll show you both ways on how to do it. New user plus equal uh, Morse location. Then at the end, we're going to go print new user. So then when I run it, then I type in. Hello. You want to print new user? Or do you just want to be showing us? So we don't need that. I, you, you don't need this. This was just, yeah, you don't need anything that's commented out. Okay. I, I would print new user because then how else is the user going to know what they did? So. Wait, I have a question. Yes. Can put space in between? Is there a way to put a space in between each letter? So it's like, is those all just what combined to me out like what? Yeah, so you could then go up here plus a space. However, what will happen is we get hello. There, we got a space. Apparently, E is just a dot. Is that right? Yeah. But isn't but a space it is. is the most Right? Yeah. But so if we did that, we then may have to go up here and go instead of a space, it's an underscore. Wait, wait. Are we done with this code? No. Yes. Hello, Micah, how are you? So every underscore is an actual. I'm sorry. So is Abaddon. Do you know how to spell Abaddon? Wrong. I think it has two B's. Ezekiel. That's always a hard one. Israel. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, spell God. Israel. I spell Spell God. Yes. All right. So any underscore is a is a space. So this is hello. Space. We could put an underscore here and a space up here. So Wait, that, did it print yours out like this? Hello. Why did you have to do this? Because I wanted to spell his name right. Why did so, mine print yeah, like very vertically and yours print horizontally? If I had to guess, you have print new user there oh, instead of there. Yep. Um, 
there. Yeah, and then there's one directly above it too. Yeah. That's when you're upside down. That's when you're Wait, laying so in bed. H-I-S no, no, other way. You have the gap face where it's the two small dots. H I. Yeah. H is no four way. dots, and then I is two dots. And there's no way to put spaces. That's what we're just talking about. It's right here. Oh crap. Wait. So you just you're adding the location. You're adding the Morse code part, and then an underscore or a space. You could put a pipe character. So the dots. So I, I is two dots. Yes, I is just two dots. So this is how you do it with the string. I'll show you how you can do it with. Um, I'm gonna leave that up there. So we're gonna new user two equals a list. Let me get rid of that. Ah, I found a flaw in your code. Good. Good for you. You can't put a, if you do a space, it'll make two spaces. That's not an error. I knew that. Checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if we do this, right, instead of doing it to a string, we add it to a list. Right, now we have a bunch of list elements. That's kind of annoying, right? Yeah. What we can then do is instead of print user, we go, uh, we can actually just print user in here. So we're gonna go dot join end. All right. So you can join it this way. Again, this space right here it's just an input. Copy that down exact line. I didn't get user but place. this, so oh. this right here is the same as this thing right here. Instead of just adding it to a string, we're adding it to a list, and then we're come, we're joining everything, all the elements in that list. Did you see your start drawing? I did. Okay. Yeah. So it's just everything in this list, it gets separated by this and put gets put in a string. What? Yes. Yes. I think so. Does anyone remember that? I don't remember. I didn't do dot title. Okay. That might have that's my bad. I'll teach you dot title right now. Um so dot title is <clears throat> if I have a string, so let's say string. It's in your book, so if you looked in your book at all, you would have found it. I had my book out, but I can't read, so. <laughs> so x dot title <laughs> capitalizes. What? Oh, I was trying oh. to figure out a way to open every single letter. <laughs> what, if I use it in four letters, that what? just means <laughs> so, <I'm> <laughs> everyone. <laughs> everyone just got all mad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh oh I'm in lists still. So let me find it in the book. If not if, if it's not in the book, that was a good exercise to try to figure it out. A problem I it problem I knew you guys couldn't figure out, but tried. That's still that's still a good thing. Is uh is upper maybe it's not in the book. However, I know it's in my pretty sure it's in my uh PowerPoint. I don't know, Mr. Soldier. If it's in the PowerPoint, I don't feel bad at all. You guys are supposed to be looking everywhere. Um, so let me double check Zipawa point. See, now you're making excuses for your mistakes. Just make sure you have time to do this. Yo, if this code is just three lines, and I've been trying to do it. It is, is digit. Everybody. What? Is title and then do, do, do. Okay, it's not in my notes. Boom. That's my bad. <clears throat> Student union. Over 
for Glow the Teacher. Wait, so that does every single first letter? It does the first letter of, uh, yes. Maybe Googling is a more effective way. What? Maybe Googling Paul. I'll do it for you guys, hang on. It returns a copy of the string. Yeah. If you put one in the parentheses, will it only capitalize the first one? Yeah. <coughs> capitalize. The turtle. Publish. Why do they use sharpies for the Mr. Wah thing to make your hand? I don't know. All right, so. Wait, can you put this online? Did I get a girl with it? What do you mean, put it online? Bradley wants to copy and paste. No, I have most of it. I just didn't get all of it. Because then you have to put that code online. Why? Yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> sentence capitalizer. So let me do this one. Def all right, new problem. Prob. Define problem. What is this? Eight and user is. I don't want to have to type this in every single time. So. Hello, my name hello. is Joe, although... Wait, hello, Dot? No, I'm just copying and pasting. Okay, so user is that. It should be a common idea. No, it, not according to the book. <laughs> uh, the person then pass it to the function and yeah, monitoring. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go new string is user dot split and we're gonna split with space that print new string. All right, and so now what we're going to do, we're going to go newer string is. Uh, you can do this a couple different ways. I'm going to do it the com. Uh, nah. Well, yeah, this is good for you guys to see. Dot. Uh, we're going to go. Actually, no, you can't do it that way. Uh, hang on. New string. You can join it. We'll do it this way. Wait, what, what happened to the newer string? Got rid of it. I was just, I just passed it by 20 minutes. For X and new string, we're going to go and newer is empty, newer plus, newer plus equal, <coughs> uh, <coughs> You can do it without that. You can do x dot newer. It's not adding a. Sh if it splits with this, yeah. So you can go x zero dot upper x zero dot upper. There's a there's a lot of different ways you can do this. X dot upper plus X. I'm going to start at index one and go to the end. Plus. What is that? So it added a period here, but. You can then go newer dot r strip <clears throat> x 
No, that didn't work. Um, did not work. Oh, because it's a space. No. Why ain't it working, Mr. Phillips? No, no. Oh, wait. You were that polish through? Yeah, that gets rid of the period and the space at the end of it. But that shouldn't explain why it's not working. I don't know. But there's a there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. Like I said, you can do it this way. There is newer plus equal x dot capitalize, which I forgot's not in the book. Plus and a space. You're still gonna want that. Hello, hello. Oh, because that is three. All three. Yeah, there's a bunch of different ways you can do this one. It's all string manipulation. So if you didn't know about this, you could have figured it out with this. <clears throat> what do you mean newer doesn't work? Which which line? This one? What's your error? Then uh, it's not copied down exactly. Okay. Oh, wait a second. That's why nothing's happening. Wait. And what was the other question we had to do, 10? <laughs> Two, four, eight, ten. Is there only one time where it says user? Ow. Yeah, user is. And then I split that up into a list. And I split it based on a period, question, period space. Now, if there were a question mark in the middle of this, let's say I was go, my name is Joe. That screws up the code because I've only split it with periods, so we would get this as an element in our string, and all of this would be an element in our string. So then we'd have to do another split but with question marks to split that up. And then once you split it all up into the individual sentences, then you'd have to put those into a list, and then do all of this. No, I still have number 10 to do. So capitalize and title are really good to know. They're not in the book, I don't know why, and I'll make sure that they're in the PowerPoint um, so you guys can go back and look at it and see how it works. Yes, Maddie. Yeah, upper upper case, upper will capitalize every everything in the string. Capitalize, capitalize the first thing and only the first thing in the string. And so, so x dot upper x dot capitalize x dot oh hang on. And then x dot So it makes it into a title where every word is capitalized. Capitalize only does the first letter in the entire string and upper capitalizes everything. So those are the three, those are the differences. These are really good to know. Title makes it a title, right? Titles are capitalized. Capital, every word in a title is capitalized. Capitalize only does the very beginning and upper does everything. <laughs> I've done that before so many times. Why is nothing printed? <clears throat> Uh, and last is the most frequent character. Write a program that lets the user enter a string and displays the character that appears most frequently in the string. I always forget the call function. Like, why is it I never use like, functions. And then I'm like, oh, that's why. Define problem 10. So it's user like, is going to be the same thing. The inside, you know? So what we're going to have to do for this is, again, there's a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to stick with a mixture of lists and strings as opposed to all strings. So we're gonna go for ch in user, and hopefully I do this right the first time. For ch in user, we need letters is, this can be 
or this can be either one, an empty string or an empty list. I just like lists for this sort of stuff more than strings. So we're gonna go for ch in user, if ch in letters, Yes. Something like this. Not as intense, but That's good, numbers Perfect. is. Hang on, I got six minutes to do this. So if I do for ch in letters, if ch is in letters. No, I'm just. I don't have a flow chart, so I'm trying to do this in my head. It'd be a lot easier if I had written it down. You're really pushing these flow charts, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. That's because you guys don't. He really has a That's what this is for. I'm just so if it's if ch is in letters, <laughs> letters dot index of ch. This lesson is brought to you by flow chart. So then we're going to do numbers. Because that doesn't have. Ooh, yeah, letters says. If if it's in there, do this. So, but there's nothing in in numbers. So if it's in there, I need to do. Ah, oh, darn it! Hang on. <laughs> this needs to go somewhere else. I need to get all the letters first, no, and then I count them up. Typing. Location. Uh, yes. Do you not better type than you? So get rid of the numbers index. The you know the homework is too hard when you just go. I know. For index, now we go four letters in four letter in letters. How long is this? No, hang on. So then we oh, this is it. Numbers. So we get all the numbers and then we go times the length of letters. Print. What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm using all the stuff that we learned in class. Probably. I'm, well, I'm doing it on the fly, and why is it blank? It's printing the. It's printing all the letters though. Okay. 
Yeah, I haven't added that part yet, so. Hey, hello. It's period. My name is Jeff. Yeah, so this is the list of letters. Now I need numbers. Yeah, it already took the duplicates. All right, I screwed something up. This one's not a I'm sorry. No, thanks to that comment, you guys still have to do this one. No, one comment. That was too, I feel bad now. You should, because everyone in the class has to do more work because of you. No, what did you say? I don't even know what Blake said. Yeah, you do. You're the one. You shouldn't have said that. I said that as a joke. Do your best on this one. Okay. You should probably stop the recording. I will yeah, it's about to. Central 